Okay, so this week I'm going to be talking about Game of Thrones. You know, it just ended, so I know people have questions. So if you didn't, if you haven't watched Game of Thrones, that's completely cool. Minor spoilers. If you're just coming into it, think of it like Dawson's Creek, but no one's name is Dawson, and it takes place over an entire country, so there's bound to be multiple bodies of water that we're going to be working with here. So what it really boils down to is there's a throne, and they're playing games around it, mostly with people, mostly with people's lives. So you have the Lannisters, and they have a bunch of money, and they're like, hey, Lannisters are really good at being in debt. And you have cool people, like you have you have Dad Lannister, also known as Scrooge McLannister, because he has all the money. And he's like, you gotta manipulate everything. He's talking to his daughter, a homicidal mama bear Lannister. So he's talking to her, and she's like, you gotta, you gotta rule the country, we gotta make more money, family's broke. And all the while, drunk Lannister, nobody likes him. He's hanging out in the corner being like, you're all idiots. And then his dad's like, you're out of here. And he shoots him with a drunk Lannister, shoots Scrooge McLannister with a crossbow and is like, you're not my real dad, and runs away all angsty. And he goes and he finds Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, first of her name, the Unburnt, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Gas Sea, Breaker of Chains, Mother of Dragons, Bender of Knees. He finds her and he's like, listen... I may be the drunkest, tiniest Lannister, but you're too good to be over here. You gotta get your head in the game. And then they sing a song about getting their head in the game. So she's like, cool, and does things over there with her husband. Because um, at this point, she's with the Delthraki. They're dudes that really like horses. So her husband at the time, that's um, that's Caldercar Noir. He's super angsty and looks like a cool guy. His eye makeup was always good. So they're getting ready. She's talking them into coming across, going from, from Easteros over to Westeros to fight the Great War, to, to claim... The throne that's right, rightfully hers. And while that's going on, that's like three seasons worth of nuts. Like that's like like five seasons worth of crap getting ready to come across. And this whole time, everybody's back across over there in, in Westeros, being like, "Hey, life is good." And you got like the Starks, right? They're a bunch of cool. Uh, they're a bunch of cool guys. You have uh, Boromir, same guy. You just transplant him from Lord of the Rings over here, same dude. And then you have other people within the house. Uh, the most important of which right now is going to be Rad older brother Stark, because he's like getting ready to learn how to how to run everything to be to be the guy when his dad's gone. Spoiler alert: Dad's gone because original king from when the show started that was running the country, he got got by a pig. How you get got by a pig? I don't know. You must be real drunk or real stupid or both. So his son, his son, but not really because homicidal mama bear is secretly doing it with uh, prom king Lannister, her brother. But they gave birth to American psycho Lannister Baratheon, and he's crazy. And I'm talking like, like, I just shit in the microwave crazy. Like, I don't know why I did that. It just happened. So he's over here doing stuff. And Boromir is trying to make sure that the country goes to the right person. And American Psycho Lannister is like, I don't like you. I'm gonna kill you. But when he does that, Boromir's daughter, Merida Stark, she's like, don't do that. That's my dad. I'll never be married to you. I'm my own woman. Hashtag brave. So Boromir dies because damn it, Sean Bean. Learn how to pick a script where you don't die. So then Rad older brother Stark is like, hey, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna come get you. And he rallies up everybody that lives in the snow and they go to try to fight everybody that lives in the sun. So there's a big war that happens. All the Starks get displaced and rehomed. Yeah, you got, uh, you got like the, the middle child, Tony Stark. He gets pushed out of a window and now he's all crippled. So that's why he builds the Iron Man suit. Then you have uh, Stark 404. Uh, we call her that because a girl's not found. She runs away and she learns how to make with the stabs and how to wear people's faces. She's kind of like Ethan Hunt for Mission Impossible, except instead of just taking a picture of your face, she literally cuts it off and then wears it because she thinks it makes her cool. So that war's going on. Rattle the brother Stark is getting ready to get married and he gets got. Stark 404 sees the dead body uh, riding around and she's all mad and she's trying to figure out who she needs to kill this whole time there's that bastard yeah there's that bastard who was living with the starks jonathan snowgaria because i mean that's a little bit of a spoiler i'm not going to read too much into that but he's off doing his thing at the wall and he meets this dude named samwise Gamgee. he's like snowgarian give me the ring he's like no sam it's mine you can't have it get away go home samwise Gamgee ends up finding a way to kill all the creepy things that live in the north but nobody wants to believe him until until it's too late. So that brings us to current, remember this whole time, Daenerys Bender of Knees, she's been getting ready to come across the Great Sea from, from Easteros to Westeros, remember that. So now she she's bringing her and the Delthraki minus Caldracar Noir. He got got by his own by his own hubris. Because he was like, I'm the biggest and the baddest of you horsemen. I'ma cut myself and then I'ma cut you. Ah! 
Direct quote, by the way. So he gets got, and through circumstances, uh, the Bender of Knees isn't allowed to have kids, but she's got dragons instead. And she birthed those dragons. That's a crazy episode and defies biology. So now she's talking about, these these dragons are my babies. So they're all coming across the ocean, and they, they end up there. So Jonathan Snogary, and he comes down to see uh, the Bender of Knees, and he's like, I need people to fight the the creepy things that live in the north. And she's like, bend the knee. Thusly, where she gets the name Bender of Knees. See, full circle. Stay with me. More craziness ensues. Finally, we're actually playing the game. Homicidal Mama Bear Lannister being like, I'm going to rule the world. And she lies to a bunch of people. Yeah, and Prom King Lannister is like, I don't like how you lie. And I don't like how you love me. I'm out. And he takes a horse and he rides north. Him and his cool new gold hand because that's a whole different story. But he rides north, and that's where we're at. All right, so that's been Ian Explains Game of Thrones. Let me know what I should do next down in the comments so I can make more fun stuff for you. Also, huge thanks to Geek Elite Radio for hanging out with us and making this happen. So don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share it around, tell your friends. Yeah, we'll see you next time.